Tonight, an unusual update to a story. Women from Tampa to Miami are telling News 6 that a Palm Bay groom who claims to have cancer played them all. Weeks ago, the man's friends called us to cover a special wedding. Lost loves reunited the groom. Had just weeks to live, we were told. But as News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld found out, that's not the whole story. He has been digging into this, and he joins us with more. This is unbelievable, Mike. All I can tell you is my head is spinning. I've never seen anything like it. Hi, everyone. Ken Boyer's friends tell me he is inspirational, a man with stage 4 cancer defying the odds. But after the story of his wedding aired, we started hearing from women who say Ken Boyer loved them all and conned them all. It was a tale of long-lost loves reunited. Yes, I surely will. The groom told his softball teammates his cancer was terminal. I've had a really good life. God's been good to me. And if this is my time, then it's my time. The story made headlines in the New York Daily News and the UK's Daily Mail. But as the couple sealed their love with a ring and a kiss... He's very good at what he does. Very, very good at what he does. And it's what an does, art. What does he do? Master manipulator, con artist. A tale of an alleged romance runaround suddenly emerged. He loved every single one of us, and he loved us all from the second he laid eyes on us. It turns out Ken Robert Boyer allegedly professed his love to a lot of women and told them all he had stage four cancer. I was his Jamaican princess. That's Cheryl Alvarez. We caught up with her on Skype Monday. She says the two met on singleparentmeet.com. She stopped hearing from him just a few weeks before that May 1st wedding. This man has a way with words. She says there were flowers, a hotel rendezvous, talk of marriage, and then the red flag, a motorcycle trip from Miami to the Keys. Mike, he rode his bike. It was five hours to the Keys and five hours back. Somebody that's going through liver cancer stage four cannot do that. But it was Barb Jones of Brevard County who the women say is the biggest victim. He called Jones the landlady, an old woman who ran a boarding house. Well, Barbara was the lady he lived with. Jones is suing Ken Boyer for $22,000, money she loaned to the man she thought only loved her. I think because he's so used to doing this and has gotten away with it for so long that it now becomes natural. Now, Boyer did text me saying, I'm not denying that they know me. I've dated them all. Nobody said anything about weeks to live. We're done with this. For the record, according to his 20-year-old daughter, he said he wouldn't make it to his birthday. That's June 4th. That's a few weeks away. He refused to offer medical proof of his cancer diagnosis. Our investigation just getting started. <laughs> So Lisa? bizarre. Yeah, I mean, what? we obviously covered the wedding here on the news. He he conned his friends, it appears. They're the ones who said you've got to cover that this. That was an unexpected plot twist for sure on our end. I think he's in big <laughs> trouble tonight from a lot of people. Yeah. Well,